Um, I um, have been hearing from a lot of principals in, around the district um, that they were invited to attend a budget, um, like a kind of budget, new budgeting process um, meeting. And, you know, I searched in the record of the board minutes and searched everywhere to try to find out how the board had hired a consultant that was coming into our schools because we're supposed to approve contracts, everything over $5,000 we're supposed to approve. And so I looked and I looked and I looked and I couldn't find it. And because uh, the book wasn't bad, we were asked to read a book by this consultant. And I heard things that it was, it was okay. I mean, I read the book. It wasn't like earth sh shattering. It wasn't um, great. It was, you know, it was pretty good. It had some great points. And um, so, you know, the substance of the book is immaterial. The idea is that I don't think the board approved this contract. So when I started digging, I, I did find something, and it was a donation by a foundation, the CENS Foundation, to the, found, the JCPS Foundation of a money donation. So the board approved a money donation in September, but not actually the consultant that's in our schools. So I have a problem with it, not the substance of it at all. I think budget work is really great, you know, but I've got a problem with us you know, it's, it's, a, it's a truthfulness issue with me that I hope in the future, moving forward, that we can really develop this better trust that, you know, what we're presenting to our principals is something that is board approved by bringing people in like that, that it actually could be presented. You know, if, if it's not board approved, it shouldn't be presented. Um, I just, I'm really uncomfortable with this. Um, it, it brings up, it's just a, an ethical dilemma with me. So I'm really concerned. Um, I hope this won't happen again. And I hope it's not happening. Um, that there isn't any other things that I've approved as I've sat here on the board that haven't been, um, you know, above board. So um, I'm concerned a little bit. Um, and I hope that we can build trust um, among our principals and among our school-based leadership when things like that happen, it, it goes in the opposite direction. Um, it reminds me of the Everyone Reads program, where it was, you know, I, not knowing the full details of it, um, it just that it's very similar. So um, I do want to express that to um, to the JCPS community. I will try to be a better watchdog. I, I feel like I'm, you know, really trying to be a good watchdog. So please help me. Um, we, there are a lot of details in the, in the board agenda, and we try to read every detail, um, but I really appreciate your help as the public. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to defer to Frank Maryland to see if there are any comments that we need to hear from the general counsel, please. Uh, well, the superintendent said previously during the meeting that I did review uh, with Tom Hudson uh, the way the uh, uh, budget consulting contract uh, was entered into by the uh, foundation, and uh, I see no legal issues with that. Yes, and I'm also, this brings up another issue of having independent legal counsel for the board. Um, as an attorney, I find it, it concerning as a conflict of interest to have the board's attorney reviewing a contract for management between the foundation, you know, and then also then providing legal advice as general counsel to the board. I see it as a legal conflict, and I'm very concerned about the independence of our general counsel. So that brings up another issue. Mr. Mellon. I think I will respond separately to the board members on that. I've already responded to a board member Horn on that, but I'll send the same response uh, to the other members uh, rather than take up time now. Okay. Um, do you have anything to say? <coughs> yep, I think so. Um, let me, just to be clear, um, one of um, what happened was there was interest in working with 
um, a company in Nate Levinson um, and a, uh, who, who wrote a book about smarter spending. How do you spend money uh, and effectively help students, which I think is the point of what we talked about tonight. So uh, Chief Business Officer Hudson's not here, but what he did was he shared the book with the board and then uh, there was a foundation, the, the Jefferson County Foundation. Uh, there was a, another foundation that was interested in not giving us money, but providing this service, this particular service. So what they donated is the use of this company and this service to provide information to principals. Uh, there's no budget decision made in it. It's information and it's thinking, as Ms. Horn said, which is a good thing, to think about how we spend money in the best interest of students. So rather than donating uh, dollars for any purpose, it was a specific purpose to work with um, um, this company about smarter spending. So that was reported on September 13th that there was that donation uh, to support strategic budget planning. So that was reported to the board. Uh, CBO Hudson had every reason to believe since he shared the book with the board that he had made the board aware of, of uh, his interest in working with the company. So uh, if I need to work harder to make anything clearer, I certainly will, but <coughs> Mr. Mellon reviewed that and uh, that's what happened. Um, Okay, um, I'd like to add something under board reports as it pertains to the work and um, things that, that I know about since our last board meeting. Dr. Harkins and I visited Fayette County School Board planning meeting last Thursday. The intent 